person up here's the story about a little guy that lives in a blue world and all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue like him inside and outside blue this world with the blue little people and a blue meditation pad and everything is blue for him and himself and everybody around cause he ain't got nobody to listen Path to TIC Tourist Information Center. Okay, so maybe I do need to go into the Zygote Salon and see what they got for me over here before I just immediately write it all off. Hold on here. So I need a key. I don't have keys. Oh yes, the pirate. Am I supposed to kill the pirate or did I kill the pirate already? There's nothing out there I can do. Okay. Huh. Okay, so, oh, right. <clears throat> okay. Welcome back to Narita Boy, everybody. My name is Gummy Worm Jim. If I remember correctly, we just defeated the pirate, and now we have to get uh, to the tourist information center for some reason. I don't remember exactly why, but I want to make sure we do that. Hello. Warning. Remember that in any of the blue simulation functions and events, like this puddle, for example, you only programs from the house of the blue beam can interact with it. Our code is not prepared, and as a result, there will be conflicts at a deep level, including collisions, physics, algorithms, etc. I'm sorry I can't be more precise, but it's a highly complex matter. In fact, I wrote my thesis on this problem in the capital's Trinary University. In any case, jump over the puddles if you want to avoid complications. Good luck. So in other words, as a, uh, as a non-blue person, if I interact with the blue puddle, it will basically corrupt my code, which makes sense. Hello. I think I've talked to you guys before. Evanescent pixels. What is my sensor picking up on? This floppy disk with the printed face of my brother program is surely proof that he'll s he's still operational. Only he could have given it to you as proof that his code is still anchored to the lines of the digital kingdom. I can't thank you enough, digital stranger. If you're looking for my key to the onsen, I have to tell you I don't have it. In the depths of despair and thinking the worst, I decided to leave it in the safekeeping of the Ancient Ones, programs as old as the blue simulation. Supervisor programs of our house's source code. You'll find them through this door. Take this key to access the adjoining room. This is the path that will lead you to the technocrat techno key for the onsen. Thank you. Narita boy, listen to the authentic sound of the blue house beam. Our Taiko sensei composed it in a moment of introspection, bound up in the techno-mystical union of our current cycle. Every bite of it moves me, inspires me, and activates subroutines within me that I didn't even know existed in my code. I'm going to give you some advice. <clears throat> Before that door was closed, I saw a power-up commented with your code. If it is what I think it is, this power-up will be very useful to you on Floppy Island. Okay, thank you. I need a power-up. Let's go in here. <clears throat> Oh! Look into the Power Up Tourist Information Center. Downstab. Down an X. Use Downstab in the air to carry out an area attack. You can also use it to break the digital floors. Good to know. Y'all ready? Yes! Let's go! Get me through here! Oh, hello. Crab. Okay. The crabs. Ow. Ow. I need to heal. How do I heal? I forget how to heal. Uh. I forget how to heal. I forget. No! I forgot how to heal. And now I'm resting in force. Okay, let's try this again, shall we?
Never mind. Give it up. I'll dash dance on you. Okay, he got one hit on me that whole time. That's nice. I can deal with that. Ow! Ow! It worked! Come on. Oh my god, how much health do you have? Alright, it's dead. Or at least gone. Oh, okay, this is bright blue energy, so I gotta be real careful with this stuff. Uh, by the way, it's been a hot minute since I've played Narita Boy, so this is uh, interesting. Oh, meditation pad. Oh, I'm the meditating master. No one meditates like I meditate, boy. I'll meditate his brains out. <gasps> we, the ancient ones of the waterfall, have been summoned. Narita boy, the blue is strong within you. Strong is the hope that you offer the houses of the Trichroma and all the digital kingdom. We know why you called on us. You're looking for the Techno Key, the one that will give you access to the pride of our house, the Onsen of the Blue Beam. The person responsible for it asked that we put it in safekeeping in case something happened, or if you came looking for it. So here it is. Remember that you'll need its sister Techno Key, the Blue Clan's copy. The Onsen has a double lock like the House of the Blue Beam. You'll need to understand its duality to enter. Narita boy, we're supporting your battle from the Blue Simulation's deepest state of meditation. Our code will clothe and protect you, as will that of the many sages and ancient ones throughout the Digital Kingdom. An invisible, mystical, and barely perceptible network exists from where we can subtly help you to be the best hero that has ever set foot on the hexadecimal ground of the Digital Kingdom. Good luck. Son of the Trichroma. Cool. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you, you know. Because <clears throat> I do have that stuff to do, and you guys giving me the thing really is going to help the do that stuff. <sighs> okay. Is that all I needed? I think that's all I needed. Now i got to go unlock that door. Okay, wait. All right. Uh, uh, this is slidey stuff, so be careful. Okay, that, that, this isn't flighty. This is blue stuff. Hup. <sighs> All right. Hey, thanks, guys. You were uh, you were probably right to leave it with those folks. Okay. Yes. 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 I've already heard all of everything you have to say. Okay. The lighthouse. Do we need to go back to the lighthouse, or do we just need to go back to the? Oh, we need to go talk to the Blue Clan! Ugh, I hate it when that happens. We need to go talk to the Blue Clan about getting their other key. The hand seems to be actually telling me to go this way. It's like, yo, you don't need to. Let's see. Let's go put this key in the slot either way, and then we'll see if that's going to um, affect the way that I need to go. Ah! Uh, I hate it when that happens. Okay. <sighs> okay. Got a destiny to fulfill, folks. I'm really liking this. I like the idea that, um... That there's all these, uh... Journeys that go on digitally. It's kind of a, it's very Tron and very just amazing in a lot of different ways. Let's see. I have the one for this now. Here you go. That's all I needed. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> oh, strenuous meditation. <clears throat> Strange collision. Hello. Don't mind me. OK. 
Okay, what's down here? Wow. Oh, hello. You found me. I've been looking out for you. I'm the guru of the Blue Clan. Well, one of many. They gave me the job of watching over the Blue Clan's Techno Key. One of the two copies that opens the currently sealed doors of the Onsen are thermal baths. Here, with this key and the Technocrat Techno Key, you can access the Onsen, free the creator's memory, and expel the stallions. Rumor has it there's a stallion fish in there causing mayhem. Do you know, Narita boy? Ever since the split between the Technocrats and the Blue Clan, the only thing that unites us, that brings us together, is our onsen, our thermal baths. There, immersed in the purified waters of the Blue Simulation, we converse, share knowledge, and gradually manage to find an understanding between our different ways of interpreting the code of the Blue House Beam. That's cool. That sounds awesome. Hey, thanks. Even the code's there for me. Uh, yellow, Y, red, blue. Okay, red, whatever. I'll just, let's do it. Yellow, Y, red cone, blue cone. Call it a cone or a funnel or whatever you want to call it. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, so... That's how I got it. It's, he just wanted me to see the duality of, like, see... There's two sides to every story. Um, in the blue house, there's technocrats, and there's also, like, just regular blue... <laughs> the blue proletariat, and the blue bourgeoisie. Um, what are we doing here? Oh, hello. I saw all squares. I don't know about you guys. Hello. Narita boy, we've sealed the door to the main baths. There's a terrible stallion threat in the form of an evil carp. He's gobbling up our clients, permanently erasing them from the source code. The problem is that the aberrant carp is blocking access to the creator's memories. There's a techno key with security logs that can reopen the door to the main baths. The Tycho Sensei can help you find it. It's a pity you can't enjoy your stay more. We hope you'll come back and see us under happier circumstances. That sounds like a lovely thing to do. Okay, so I can't get in here yet because I need to get up and get the, uh... Wait key from someone. Hello. Access to the sun. Okay, I guess I gotta get in here. Oh wow, what am I supposed to do there? Liberate the creator's memories, find a way to climb the mountain of the perpetual glitch. Uh, not like that apparently. Nope. Okay, you know what? gonna come back to this once I know uh, how to get up there. Till then. Can't get in here. That's okay. Uh, Alright, what are you teaching me here? <clears throat> Thermal baths. Okay. Wow, this looks more like a... Oh, what the shit? No, not that for a second. Oh my god, they just worked me. Okay, need to remember how to fight in this game. Huh. You with the sword on your face. Don't do it. Oh god, she's doing it. Ah. Yes. Yeah. Damn forsaken. Soul Ripper, what the shit? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, what the shit? Get out of here. Holy shit, dude, he's a summoner. Okay. Ow.
Ow. Ah, <sighs> got him. <sighs> I understand that the code is simpler, and at the same time, maddeningly elegant, but... Has it really come to hugging trees with all the progress we've made? What the hell are y'all talking about? You don't like hugging trees? It's important. B. If you don't understand hugging trees, you, you might be like just a brain dead yokel or something. I don't know. What did that what just happened? What did that do? Okay. Apparently it did something. I missed it. Marty was doing something and distracted me. Um Do I have the key for this now? No. Okay. Still no key for that either. <clears throat> Can I break that? Oh, it's gonna kill me if I do, but... Nope. Damn it. Rest in force. Shit. Alright. Thermal bath. Press the button. Now where? Can't go here. Oh! Wait. I don't remember if this is open before! Oh god, oh that's right! There's, there's element powers. I gotta remember how to do the element powers. Can I, can I do them? I think you hold something, right? Ow! I can't remember how to do element powers. Fuck! They're gonna fuck me up. Ow. Jesus Christ. I honestly don't remember how to do the element powers. Fuck! Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, that's a heal. What the fuck are you? I don't know what you are, but you're scary. Giant. Wigged George Washington looking motherfucker. Okay. Okay, so I can use this to heal by holding Y. I remember that. How do I fucking activate? Oh. Okay, side to side on the stick. Okay, gotcha. I remember now. <clears throat> what are we doing? Okay, I got another key. Nice. Are you like the origin of the first Forsaken or something? That's gnarly. Okay, I don't have this key yet. This one it is. Let's do it. <sighs> um, okay, there's some cool symbols. Oh, it's blue now. Nice, okay. I just needed to use some kind of code to get up to the summit. That makes sense. Oh... Hello. Knock, 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 knock. Okay. Uh, yellow, three dots. Perpetual glicks. Knock, knock, dwelling. Um. Okay then. Uh, three yellow dots. Good to remember. Is that really all I needed from there? 
That can't be all there is there. Hold on one second. Meditate back to the situation. There's really nothing else here. Okay. Person with their baby. Naku nak. Three yellow triangles. Remember it. Alright. That's all there is to remember from here. Um... No key. Haha! -ha. Oh, Naku Nak Nak. Got it. Gotcha. <laughs> Don't like the look of this. Access to the main great bath. Nope, dead. What do I do? Literally nothing I can do. Okay, cool. I'm glad it's open, I guess, but it doesn't help me. If I can't get through it, you know? What do you guys think? Yeah, doesn't help me at all. Okay. Cool. Great. Now the thermal baths are open and anybody can go in there except for me, I guess, because I can't touch the blue water. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, there's uh, nothing else going on for me over there. Okay, let's go back here. Now this must be the way, okay? What the shit is in the thermal baths and how do I get there? How do I get past it? Oh, right, I have a disc of some kind. Shit, how do I use that? Ow. That's right. Uh, what? Oh, fish koi. Ow. Is there anything I can do besides just... Ow. Nope, okay, apparently not. Shit. What do I do? What the fuck? What you want me to do, huh? Oh, shit. Damn it! No! Uh. Uh. Ah! No! You jump up on the block. Okay, gotcha. Jeez, Louise, fish. Alright, great koi, whatever your name is, let's go. Let's dance, fishy. Shit! Uh. No! Fish can fight! Ow! Fucking goddamn. Fuck! Rest in force. <sighs> okay, I will get this fight. It's another one of those ones. So this is... They're starting to introduce all kinds of cool challenges that are going to make the fights legitimately very difficult. So... I like that. I actually appreciate that about a game. I like it when a game can be really challenging at times. Especially with unconventional mechanics, which is definitely what's going on here. Like, this is not the sort of thing that normally makes a game difficult, but it sure makes this one difficult. Uh, 
Uh, left trigger. Ah, stop jumping. Either you fucking turn directions or you jump. But not really both. Not necessary. Fuck out. You gotta fucking start hitting the left trigger when you're done. It's the wrong fucking button. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Fuck this fish, dude, seriously. Huh, no! I just wanted to fucking live! Nope, not happening. Fuck, oh, dude. Okay, this goddamn fish is gonna be a serious boss battle. Let's go. Yep, 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 I see you. Fucking up everybody's good time. Ow, you motherfucker. I'm just gonna jump from nowhere? That's fucked up. Well, it only hurts once, I guess, so maybe just take the beam, but, like, try not to take anything else! What the fuck?! Are you just gonna jump out of nowhere with no fucking animation? That's fucked. Ah, wrong button again! Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know you're a fucking fish. Cool. You're totally a fish, man. Fuck out of here. Jeez Louise, that fish was not fucking fun. <laughs> that was a rough boss battle. Alright. Repair the head of the creator. Come on, Lionel. Open your mouth. I need to get a freaking, uh, I need to get a memory out of here. <sighs> At least every memory is, uh, pretty hard fought this point that's kind of cool oh we're getting so close you guys look at this the creator in the back is like all almost fully created <laughs> gestated how many left one two three four five five memories left I remember the moment when I waved goodbye to my childhood and my personal belongings. Bummer. Actually, let's check this way real quick. Just to make sure there's nothing there, okay. The last goodbye to my grandfather's photo. Oh, because they do like shrines to their um, loved ones who have passed in Japan. I remember saying goodbye to my grandmother without a kiss or a hug, just as I had been taught. It didn't matter that we longed to hold each other because we knew in doing that we would just make our parting harder. I knew I would miss her, tough and stringy in her kimono like the bamboo trees in the forest of time. Yeah, we all gotta grow up and move out sometime and... It's always a struggle to find out exactly who you want to be without your your uh, parental figures and your family. I crossed the lost forest, the one that connects all the dimensions, to try and find myself. That's amazing. You guys do like it's like a spirit quest. 
as a California native, I know all about that. We do uh, spirit quests as well, where you're supposed to just kind of go into the wilderness and cross the threshold of nature and figure out what it is that you want to be. During my journey, I meditate, meditated and intensified my signal with the energy of the trichroma, an energy that flowed in me or through me. I never knew which. That's cool, developing his own belief system around the trichroma. And becoming a little bit of a hippie. An energy that welled up spontaneously when Mother left us and was balanced in the center of the three beams. Naka, the kanji character that symbolizes the center, the equilibrium. Interesting. Naka. That makes sense. <clears throat> Yeah, the, the uh, forest of time is certainly beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> Years went by, and then I met her. Cool. Met her out in the forest, or... I wonder if this is more kind of allegory, like... They actually met somewhere else, but... Oh! <laughs> she gave me her love, and I gave her what remained of mine. Aw, it's all love, yo. Even when yours has been damaged or hurt, it's still love, and so it's not what remains of it. You're giving of your love to someone else who's giving of their love to you. And you're neither is placing undue expectations, so that's a weird way to feel about it. After leaving the Lost Forest, a new connection had formed. Cool. You guys got yourself a car and moved into the city? It looks like moved to America. Which is rough, especially for immigrants and people who aren't white and Protestant and all the things that American colonialism was built on. We got engaged. Everything happened very quickly. Then we had a son. It's wonderful. Neighborhood where uh, other Immigrants and non-white people are forced to live. Hall of Memories. I mean, Creator, as far as we know, I don't know if he has a, a son and a wife now, so maybe there is There's more tragedy on the horizon for him. Either way, <clears throat> what a good journey. We've, I think we've just made our way through the blue house of the Trichroma. Um, maintenance room. Oh, they want me to go this way. Gotcha. Let's see. We're definitely finding out more about the tri the uh, creator. So this one here, the, sin the this is the Naka symbol for the center, which is a Narita boy th symbol. That's the one on my chest as well. Oh, I can probably just jump it. Hello. You guys ready to send me home? Let's do it. I mean, not home home, but at least I'm going somewhere. Blue Ansible Chamber! Okay, so we are indeed back at the hub. Thanks guys for keeping that open for me. It's literally time for the last one. We're gonna do the red, um, the red house of the trichroma in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Gummy Worm Jim, and this is Narita Boy. I'll see you next time. <clears throat> All right, what's up, everybody? My name is Gummy Worm Jim. Welcome back to Narita Boy. Recording episodes after episodes. It's time for the Red Ansible Chamber. Off to the Red World. We're almost there. We're doing well. So far, we have uh, unified the yellow and blue houses of the Trichroma. We just need to unify the house, the red house of the Trichroma, and we will be in a beautiful position, I think. Okay, question is left or right. Let's go left. Okay. Kind of scary because red is the color of most of the enemies, so... Is there something there that we... Diaspora Station. Okay. This definitely looks a little different. Also, it has the, the rock and roll hands of our rest and force thing, which is kind of scary because that's... Even though it's not a violent symbol in real life, in this game it kind of represents like a, a death thing.
because you see it every time you die. Narita boy, you've reached the ruins of the ancient abode of the Red House Beam. This is where Him's power emerged, and it was here he was vanquished for the first time. Our brother programs in the House of the Red Beam lived here, but after the betrayal by him and the brother programs who followed him, they decided to initiate the Diaspora. Explore the ruins, and remember your mission is to free the Creator's memories. He must remember in order to expel him from the Digital Kingdom. By the way, the entrance to the ruins is blocked. Find a way to get inside. Okay. So this is blocked. This is probably the way inside if I can figure it out, but don't know what it is. Oh! I bet you it's like getting my, uh, getting my sword up or something. Okay, this works. This works! Ow! Okay, I forgot about the, the giant hand things. Okay. Hup. Anything else up here? Ah, yes. No, I missed it. Okay. Interesting. So as some ruins, this one's going to involve, it would seem, a little bit of climbing, a little, little platforming parkour action. Okay. Okay, that works. Haha. -ha. Tower room. Okay. Yellow V. Looks like a red square. Aha! Ventilation corridor. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness! Uh, I just got straight up annihilated by that thing. Okay. I've pressed the button. The door is open. Let's do this. Okay. Yep. So don't let that thing eat you. Ow. No! That was the whole point. I was trying not to let that happen. Battle of Attrition, you know what I mean? So do I let this thing... Ow! Okay, whatever. That works. Jeez. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's get a heal on. So at least we have one more health point than before. One more HP. <gasps> okay. <laughs> it's like, please no. Wow. Tell me about this stuff, motherboard. Stabilizing the toe. Oh, I'm sorry, I've got a overlay in my fucking god damn it. Okay. Uh him was intent on destabilizing the trichroma. His code became insidious and malign. He abandoned all equilibrium and sanity and possessed by the lure of power hungered for the supremacy of his house by crushing the other beams. That explains it. It's like red supremacists. But together with the rest of the supervisor programs, he mounted a fierce opposition to him's evil intentions. Him and his acolytes from the red beam, the stallion, red beam was getting out of control. From the capital, we tirelessly cleaned and debugged onslaughts of new code that him was insinuating in the source code. The source code was reeling, poisoned. Him was corrupting it. Was something happening on a more subtle plane, I wondered. I had the feeling that him had managed to seduce the creator himself, to somehow manipulate him, to take advantage of an emotional breach and cause a profound imbalance in the source code. How could he have done it? because his guile, as old as time, was much like my own. And with this guile, I, Motherboard, 
Mother Superior of the Digital Kingdom managed to save the programs from the supremacy of him and his stallions. How? I used the same weapon as him, the art of persuasion. With this, I reharmonized the creator, so he would go back to meditating on the unity of the trichroma, a journey back to his center. And then the creator reconnected with the three beams, the power of him momentarily withered. That was when I asked the glove, him's scribe, to pro uh, scribe program, who was using the colossal red data dump he'd been managing for cycles to open a dimensional portal to expel him and the stallions from the digital kingdom. But after him's expulsion, the dishonor for the house of the red beam was unbearable for its programs, and that was when the exodus began. They decided to abandon their home to cycles and cycles in the desolate fields of the red beam like nomads, disgraced programs. This was the sad story of the first victory over him. And now, Narita boy, every frame painted into the system tells of what our second victory over the evil one will be. Interesting. And that makes sense too. Okay, access to the portal is surely cut off at the moment. <clears throat> him betrayed the trichroma. If you look closely, the symbol of the stallion house is our symbol, the trichroma, but he got rid of the vertical stripe that symbolizes the red beam. Why? Because he believes the red beam is not part of the equation, and that he is above the rest of the houses. That's what the stallions are like. That's the kind of excessive and dangerous short-sightedness we are up against. Yeah, good to know. Sounds a lot like uh, white nationalism in America. <clears throat> They've kidnapped Johnny Heat, the legendary dude from the Red House Beam. The hacker notch extracted him from the console that connects with his quarters, and a stallion squadron took him through the ancient portal. The one we used to expel the stallions. You have to find the glove, our supervisor program. Travel in the train that never stops, the train of perpetual motion. The glove has a backup copy to open the door that leads to the ancient portal. Okay, sounds good. Is that in here? Where am I going? Access the ancient portal to rescue Johnny Heat. Alright, well, let's see what's over here. Wait, no, before we do that, let's see what this is. We gotta know. Okay, I see a lot of these, uh, Y, yellow Ys. Like, just so you know, yellow Y, yellow Y, yellow Y. Okay, this must be it. <clears throat> Open sesame and my giant meditation. Okay. Ooh, server rooms. This place really is abandoned. Look at this place. What's up, motherboard? Him, the prodigious one. That is how he was known when he was a supervisor level compiler in the house of the red beam. A friend, in fact. As the quantity of red data dump in the source code was so great, the glove, his scribe program, regulated the flow of data to balance the powerful red beam with the rest of the beams of the trichroma. Interesting. Alright, red cone. Yellow Y red cone. Whoa. This looks like it must be him uh, forcing the glove to, I don't know, filter through whatever he's doing into the source code. Interesting. I wonder if the glove kind of hid his, um, in, his intentions or something? Can I meditate up here and guess the blue symbol? Because if it's two out of three, it will literally take me like eight tries at the most to do a uh, brute force on this code. The question is, will it let me brute force? No, it will not.